She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. The same curve. I only run over that. Today I'm going to be talking about some products I am going to be trying out. So we're going to try this together. I told you I've been looking for some supplements. So I'm going to make the first one I'm going to take right now. And it's something I've been looking for to increase my energy because I do have, I don't talk about this a lot, but I have chronic fatigue where I can spend hours and hours and hours sleeping in bed. And I just feel like I said before, moving through quicksand, I don't have energy. So I'm going to be trying first thing, this Unicity Unimate and it's Yerba Mate basically formula. Um, let's go, let's give it a good shake. All right, so now I'm going to pour it into this cup here, this real leather cup. I love the smell of leather. <laughs> wow. I was expecting it to be like really sweet because of all the sweeteners and I don't love sweeteners. You know me. But I don't actually really taste them. It tastes uh, like like a diet lemon iced tea, but like not as diety, not as sweet. So I'm like very honest with, I am I, a person who loses interest in projects very quickly. So for me, if I'm not like passionate about something, uh, if I don't like something, you're going to know it. So Yerba Mate is very healthy. It has like, um, you know, herbal tea properties. It's, a, it's an herbal tea and it has like polyphenols, um, antioxidants, trace amounts of vitamins, B6. Shut the fuck up! I feel hyper and you're gonna get it. There's been no, re you know, reported side effects, negative side effects, and you can even look it up yourself. I've only seen really good things usually about this um, company. So it's actually very popular here in the Middle East. And um, there's a lot of different TikTok accounts that promote it. And basically, they, so they have different health packages, whatever you're looking for. But basically, um, you know, I went to um, a seminar with Salah and we, were, we learned, because Salah has a lot of friends who recommended this whenever he, you know, whenever we talked about like my health issues and stuff, so, and then I was looking for something and, um, so this is what it looks like, you get like a one month supply and each package is like this, okay, give it a good shake. Now to me, I'm going to be honest with you guys, always. When I first tried this, my knee-jerk reaction was, what am I drinking? This is weird. It's it's a bit sweeter than the Unimate, but it tastes like, um, kind of like an orange creamsicle. It's an orange flavor, creamy orange flavor, but it's thick because it has like oat fiber and different fibers in it. Not as bad. When I first tried it, I just didn't know what to expect. It was thick, it was kind of weird. So I feel really like, <laughs> I still feel a bit of energy from the Unimate, I swear. So, um, but yeah, um, I, I found the Unimate made me feel very alert. And even like Salah had some with me and he was like, he was super hyper, he was running around the cat. So um, thanks for watching this video. And uh, as the days come, we'll see the results and uh, how it goes. Bye guys. <laughs> About to have dinner. I ordered from a taco place and I got a build a bowl. Uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna eat because I feel kind of full from the slim, the um, balance I took from Unicity. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out for what I'm taking. Let's see. Whoa, I asked for spicy, so they put a lot of hot sauce. I'm gonna see how this like really works for real, this balance slim stuff, how much it fills me up and how much I can eat. I wasn't able to finish my, I had a small lunch, mostly the cottage cheese and mustard kind of stuff. But. So this has Mexican rice, black beans, mixed peppers and onions, cheese, sour cream, <laughs> grilled chicken, lettuce, black, I already said black beans. Okay, let me mix it like this. So yeah, I have a new health problem now. It never ends. I, I, I don't know what I did to my back. I hurt my back. I, I think it's sciatica because it runs down my leg and it's in my lower back, like right at the beginning of your hips here. I'm trying Rofenac, Diclofenac Sodium, and Myocom. I think it's sciatica, but also I think I pulled up my back because I kind of felt a crack when I bent down to grab a case of water. 
I want to apologize. I want to own it for talking negatively. I don't know if I talked negatively about the healthcare system in Canada. I think it was more the the, the um, large amount of taxes taxing. If we get healthcare, like Canada does have pretty good healthcare. Like I have to pay for most things here, and I think I took that for granted a bit because like I'm gonna need a lot of healthcare when I go back. I know that people think I'm not paying taxes. Actually, I am paying back my taxes. Um, CRA is pretty good with like you know working with you with that, but also I've paid into taxes like my whole life. I worked since I'm like 16, so. Um, and I'm a Canadian citizen. I, I have a right to healthcare. I'm going to go back to Canada to take advantage of the, the healthcare. I'm not going to Canada, so get that out of your heads. <laughs> like, if you're waiting for that, you're going to be waiting forever. And get the help I need, you know. Uh, just not give up. I think I got overwhelmed because you have to kind of advocate for yourself. With healthcare in Canada, for like, especially for mental health, you have to really be persistent. And I'm not going back there to bees in the same way. In fact, I'm probably going to take a little bit of a break when I get there. And unwind and settle in. Because I want to talk to a doctor about the weight loss surgery process. And it can take like a year, year and a half sometimes. It can take a while. Months and months, it depends. And then, you know, I'm nervous that I won't be psychologically ready. So I do want to see a therapist on the side or something. I don't know. I'm going to look into the resources. Nothing is happening to the relationship with Salah and I, and I'm going to miss my dad so bad. Well, at least I know the Udamate does. It gives me more alertness and, you know, I don't feel as fatigued. And actually, I've been, like, doing laundry. I've been cleaning up more. Um, yeah. So, thanks for having uh, dinner with me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing my makeup with you guys. Um, I have to go out for a bit, so I thought I would do a makeup look. We're just experimenting. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I have a mascara I don't like. <laughs> what in the heck? Ah! Ah! Uh, let's try the other eyebrow. <laughs> this is what you get for messing around. Oh my gosh, I'm a loser. Why am I doing this? Okay, let's try this. <laughs> oh my gosh anyway yeah see you later hi guys it might be a little hard for me to look into the camera directly at you guys when I'm doing this video. This is something very hard for me to do. I have a confession and I hope you'll understand. So I'm not 366 pounds. I made a deal with the doctor. Uh, when I went to see him for the second time at the checkup, I said, um, I didn't weigh myself uh, on camera the last time and, you know, I have a lot of haters and I really want to prove them wrong. They're all I think about all day. Um, this would make my life if I could just prove to them that I'm not 400, 500 pounds. So I uh, offered that morning. I made some really amazing deviled eggs. And there was about 7 kg on the wall unit in front of the TV. So I brought that to the appointment and I put those eggs and 7 kg on his desk. And I said, listen, what can you do for me? So, um, he had one bite of those eggs and he accepted. The trick is paprika. I was very deceptive. I held on to the bookcase. I held on to the nurse. And I put my right foot slightly on the gurney. I'm actually 535 pounds. So, you were all right. Zoom. Anyways, I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep and all right well now you know the truth i'll talk to you later hi guys i'm talking low because someone here is still sleeping i don't want to wake them up <laughs> today i actually woke up with um some energy and started doing chores right away tidying up the spare room sweeping and doing some dishes all right i'm getting ready to make my first meal of the day i will be drinking this and 
then I will wait 15 minutes and have my lunch and I'll show you what I have. All right, time to have this magnificent first meal. Now this pasta is whole grain, it's very brown. <laughs> Yay, my new CPAP mask arrived with the new mask. All right, there you go, brand new F30 mask. I'm happy to see you guys, but I'm tired of the internet right now. <laughs> no, I shouldn't probably be eating this, but I'm gonna anyways, starting my life. I'm having soba and I'm having beef because I haven't had beef since the do doctor told me not to. And I'm like, whatever, I'm rebelling today because you know, I'm hungry for it. So these are like beef soba noodles or something like that. I'm trying to, I'm eating dinner. Um, I'm trying to like do a massive clean and organization before I head to Canada because like I need to leave the house in like a state where I feel comfortable leaving. So, and so that's a grown adult and he's like, don't worry about it. You know, when you come back, you'll see this house transform. Don't worry about it. No, I need to worry about it. Just washing everything I washed. I'm glad I'm taking the Unimate. Honestly, it's working with energy levels. I don't nap anymore. I used to sleep a lot and take naps. Like I couldn't function without taking naps. You know, at one point even Salah was like, you're gonna sleep again. <laughs> like I don't need to take naps. I actually like my oven needed to be cleaned. I spilled, I was baking something and it all spilled over. I cleaned the oven, the elements. I hate cleaning those great things inside the oven. The fridge, the freezer, the air fryer, the microwave. <laughs> The, the Did you know that your washer and dryer have these, like, filter things you have to clean, uh, like, once a month? I have some time. I'm starting now because I don't want to be stuck with it last minute like I was in Canada. I'm so afraid of being like I was in Canada. Ill-prepared, messy. My life was a mess. My home was a mess. I'm so afraid of becoming like that again um, because I didn't like being like that. People think that people have messy homes um, or, hoard, or, or become hoarders because they love living in filth. No. I used to just like semi hoard. I would hoard stuff. I could say I was like a hoarder. So I'm getting ready to go to Canada and I'm going to clean my home, organize things. Another thing I want to touch on, I did make a community post, but I see a lot of people saying that Unicity is an MLM, multi-level marketing. Not all MLMs are scams. I literally didn't have to invest any money to be scammed on. These are like reputable. If you're buying good products that have a good reputation, like these products are in the physician's desk, uh, Physician's reference desk. You can look it all up. It's easy to Google. But when you're Googling information, please get it right because people were like, you know that Unicity supports Israel. No. If you click that link where it says we support Israel, it's a company called Unicity Healthcare. It's a geriatric home, it's a geriatric healthcare um, company. It's not the same Unicity. Excuse me. And it's not just Metamucil, it's an actually patented formula. So it's their own formula. But it's, you know, it is fiber drink. It's like having a business kind of, but, but without having to put any money into the logistics. You don't have to, to worry about shipping. You don't have to worry about patenting the, pro patenting the product, paying for the packaging. Um, you don't have to do, do anything. You know, the product's there. If it's a product you enjoy, it's easy to promote. No one cares! But so far, the energy I had to do, a lot of the cleaning I had to do today, when I, usually it's like pulling teeth for me to get energy to do it. So yeah, I, was, I wasn't cooking today. Are you guys like that? After I clean my kitchen fully, I don't want to cook in it. <laughs> it pains me to make it dirty again. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!